Welcome back to Inside Politics. Our guest today, Dr. John Vial from Middle Tennessee State University, political science professor. Dr. Vial, um, this situation with, with Joe Biden, President Biden, he's been trying to stay out of getting in the middle of the controversy about the impeachment. Uh, he's also got a very shaky majority in both the House and the Senate to try to pass his COVID-19 bill. Can he get it done without any Republican votes? That looks like where he's headed. I think he can. Now, whether he's going to be able to get the minimum wage provision included uh, is another story. Um, he would obviously be better if he could get some Republican support. He has at least listened to a number of Republican senators who's visited the White House, but ultimately it does come down to a matter of votes, and it looks like he has them. So far, the, the new president seems to be um, basically ruling by executive order, not unlike Mr. Trump, who did a number of things by executive order to uh, eliminate or uh, rescind efforts by President Obama. Uh, th this is becoming a continuing pattern. Is this any way to run a railroad, much less a government? You know, I think there's some real problems with it. We, we used to compare ourselves to parliamentary democracies and one of the advantages that we said we had was that parliamentary democracies tended to lurch. You know, whatever the majority is there, they're in control and they have the prime minister and the, and the majority of parliament. And it's, you know, it's not even just Trump. You know, Obama did the same thing. The Bushes did the same thing. Uh, as long as we have legislative gridlock, executives are going to seek ways to, you know, get something done. As President Biden tries to reach across the aisle and get help, uh, is there going to be a residue, sort of a poison left in the water from what happens with this impeachment trial and any Republican who goes across on even policy issues will be subject to criticism, if not censure in the party? It's possible, but again, as you've pointed out, I think Biden has been very wise in really not becoming a partisan with respect to impeachment. I mean, he, he has said that he thought the trial should go forward. Uh, but in many ways, this is unfortunate for him because it's, you know, usually the first hundred days are the time that you have the greatest consensus and the greatest likelihood of getting things done, and we're going to lose a week or so. Do you feel the mood and the tone in Washington is beginning to change just a little bit after four years of sort of the constant tweets and the bull in the china shop uh, policy and style of, of governing that we had uh, with uh, President Trump, what people often called uh, constant chaos? Do you think that's beginning to, to sort of abate just a little bit, although it certainly came back this week with the trial, and particularly when you started looking at all the videos that were out there? Right. Um, again, I, I think a lot, of, you know, Often the, the excesses of one administration are sort of, you know, taken care of by the next. And I think one of the things that Biden has fairly prudently done is tried not to be the center of every news story every day. And I think a lot of people feel somewhat relieved by that. So you think the nation may be ready for a little more boring government that's about policy after the impeachment <laughs> trial is over? And although isn't all this sort of subject to, as far as Mr. Biden's concerned, how well he does in combating the, the pandemic, particularly how well he does in finally getting these uh, vaccine arms, uh, vaccines in uh, shots in people's arms to begin to probably bring that light that's been at the end of the tunnel finally to the forefront? Yeah, I mean, this has been a time not simply of political stress and chaos, but also of, you know, real genuine fear of, you know, people losing their lives. And I do think, you know, Biden has fairly wisely put as much focus as he can on COVID. Uh, I see that what yesterday he got a new uh, contract for another 100 million uh, doses of the vaccine. Uh, I think that will certainly help. Uh, this impeachment is likely to be, the trial is likely to end maybe as early as this weekend, certainly early next week. Um, so uh, this will be the shortest one, perhaps the most bipartisan one ever in terms of what the vote's going to be. But what will it mean even in the 2020 election? I don't remember the impeachment trial last year where the president was acquitted, President Trump, having any impact on the 2020 election. Well, some people think that it actually helped him. You, you know, the, um, this, I think, it's like clearer case, you know, the facts are before us. It involves domestic affairs rather than foreign affairs. I think one of the reasons for having the trial was simply to get it on the record. Um, and I think people are going to come back, you know, they're going to look back five or 10 years from now and wonder, you know, why it wasn't a more overwhelming vote than it appears to have been. 
There's been this uh, uh, sort of um, increase of people who believe in conspiracy theories. You've got this new congressman from uh, Georgia who's been uh, stripped of her committee assignments. Uh, the Democrats did that, although they got a lot more Republican votes than I think some people thought in terms of be that being done publicly. Are you concerned that we're seeing a lot more of these things going on and people beginning in the, in the, the QAnon things and that sort of stuff that uh, is going to further polarize American politics? I am, you know, it's I, I sort of long for for the time that we used to have three networks and you know you, ABC, NBC, CBS, you know everybody was watching pretty much the same thing. Now we're in silos, and you know people on the right are only watching you, you know Fox News, and people on the left I guess are only watching MSNBC. I'm not sure, you know, or or, or whatever, and near the near the two seem to to, to meet. Dr. John Vile, Middle Tennessee State University um, political science professor. Dr. Vile, thank you so much for being on the program. I suspect we'll have reasons to have you back on here in the future, but we do appreciate you making it here with us this week. That's Inside Politics for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you'll be back here again for a future show. If you can't get up politics in the meantime, go to the Channel 5 website. You'll find my Capital View commentary there. There's a new commentary posted every Friday afternoon. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and we'll see you here next time. Goodbye.